What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to almost the end of the transfer window, almost the end of transfer daily news videos. Uh, it's gonna be moved to uh, UV daily news videos, but we close or the window shuts midnight Friday um, and there is still a lot to be done. More than you could imagine. Not just potentially Jaden Sancho, but what about Arthur? Still at the club, you know, Kostic close to Fiorentina, not going Fiorentina, or maybe going Fiorentina again, still out there. You have the Chiesa situation in balance. You have still the Chilio that is at the club, you know. So for the club itself, for Juntili, it's still not done. You know, it's not done and it's going to be a busy couple of hours and it can go extremely quickly in a very good way or in a very bad way, depending on how you're actually viewing these things. So four more deals, at least, potentially, in about, what is it now, you know, um, 72, less than 72 hours. That's what we're going to talk about. Before we do that, as always, smash the like button, because it does help the channel out massively. So hit the like button, subscribe, and let's talk about another uh, crazy ending to the to the window. But in a different way than previous seasons, when crazy was, we were doing absolutely nothing. And crazy right now is, we're doing absolutely everything. Okay, so four deals at least. Uh, keep in mind, it's pre-recorded in the morning because I leave for work. Things can happen throughout the day. We start off with Jaden Sancho because as I said on my life, if you watch my, my live show, it's about Jaden Sancho. He is in control. He, it all depends on Jaden Sancho. He can wake up this morning and this video could have dropped and he could have made a decision and it could have been, I'm going Chelsea. And Manu was like, cool. We want to take Sterling. Sterling is like, cool, I want to get out this Chelsea situation where I'm actually not going to play uh, because they told me I'm not going to play. So I will cut my wages and I will join Manu. That can go really quickly. The other thing can go quickly as well. And that is Sancho waking up and saying, cool, Chelsea, you're in for me. Cool, Manu, you potentially... Inter are entertaining the idea of a swap deal with Chelsea, but I don't want to go Chelsea. I want to go Juve. Make it work. At that stage, Manu will make it work as well. So, it is about Jaden Sancho. Does he want to revive his career or potentially revive his career or stay in England? Which I also understand. Stay in London. You know, stay there and be like, fine, this is it for me. You know, like Italians are not really jumping of joy to leave the Italian league, you know. Even though you look at someone like, hmm, maybe you can take another step, and they're like, no, I want to stay in this league, you know, so we cannot be hypocrites and say, ah, oh, he needs to come Juve, career-wise, it makes more sense, in terms of a new environment, new chances, so on, so on, not so much of it's alone with maybe an option, and I need to go back to menu potentially, that's also not ideal, like, he is, and he needs to think, like, it's his career as well, he needs to think about this, is it smart to go to Juve, Instead of Chelsea, maybe, potentially, is it smart to go Juve on a loan and potentially go back to Manu rather than be permanent to Chelsea? Maybe not, you know, so it all depends on uh, Sancho, but him joining Chelsea is very realistic, it really is realistic, because Sterling is out of the picture, so he needs to find a solution, the window is closing, who, who the hell is uh, Sterling going to sign? Like, nobody's in for Sterling. It's not going to happen. So he's not going to be out for an entire season just sitting on the, not even on the bench, in the stands, training with the kids. That's not going to happen. So he might be sitting there being like, okay, man, you, I'm going to work with you guys because I want to get out of Chelsea because I'm not part of that completely. I will get not a sniff in that starting 11, let alone a match day squad. With you, I will cut my wages and at least I can get minutes for Manu. And Jaden Sancho can be like, cool, fine, I'll go Manu, uh, I'll go Chelsea. And that can deal can be wrapped up really quickly. Because right now, for Chelsea, it's not about Jaden Sancho. It's not a priority. The priority is getting Raheem Sterling out. And maybe Sancho could be looking at that being like, you guys don't really want me. You just want to get rid of, Jay, uh, of Raheem Sterling. So it is a tricky situation, but it all depends on Sancho. Again, it can go either way. Do we need Jaden Sancho? If Mota's like, I need Jaden Sancho, then we need Jaden Sancho. Yes, we have a lot of solutions and people are uh, scared about Mbangu last minutes. What is going to happen with Yulis? You have Konsesao. You have 
uh, Gonzalez. Now you added Colt Miners and people are panicking. We have that. Like, that's Mota's problem. If he's signing off to these th things, then you need to figure it out. You need to keep everybody happy. You need to make it work. The back line is not that much in depth, you know, and that <clears throat> deep, excuse me, and that might be an issue, and that's maybe the frustrating part for me as well. I get that. But if Mota's like, I need Jaden Sancho, and I can guarantee everybody minutes, and everybody's going to be a key player like Douglas Luiz right now, it's not. And some already panicking, and Mota was like, just chill, guys chill so many games and still early you know maybe not up to speed and so on so will he fit in if Mota thinks he will fit in then okay cool is he for me the must if we don't sign Jenny Sancho will be I will I be disappointed no I wouldn't I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna lie and I like Jaden Sancho uh but he took it he took a dip you know and it's a big if if he gets up there now that's one of those deals the other deals is Arthur nothing really on Arthur and that needs to come out of nowhere. That news needs to come out of nowhere that he's close to Fiorentina or so. Because right now, it's a bit of panic station. It really is. I'll probably find a solution. You know, we're loaning him out. But you'll probably end up paying more of the wages than you would have uh, thought of. You know, in talks with Fiorentina. But Fiorentina are really jumping on it. They're looking at other solutions as well. And that goes for Kostic as well. Which is actually funny. I said it so many times. These clubs are not our rivals. Because he was close to joining Fiorentina. And then the Fiorentina fans put out a banner saying... Our passion, uh, your our passion is the club. Your passion is selling our passion to Juve. And, and Fiorentina literally was, okay, we cannot sign Kostic. The moment you have a club like that, tells you how small of a club they are. They are a small club. They're not a rival of us. And it's not because they don't want to take Kostic. I get it, you know. But not for that reason, you know, because the fans put out a banner. But they're a small club. So Kostic right now has no options. There are Saudi links and they all got dismissed. Crystal Palace is potentially an option. But again, you need to find a solution for Kostic. And I think Juntli thought he found, found one for Kostic. And now it's like, ooh, nothing. Fiorentina back down. So an issue. Chiesa. Remember when I said I don't believe the Barcelona stuff because it makes no sense. They struggled to get Dani Almo reg registered. For them, Chiesa was like potentially an opportunity. And now he's getting edging closer to Liverpool. That deal will get done. To Liverpool or to whoever, we will move on Chiesa. We will get around 50 million, I think slightly less. And that's that That will be done and, and that's it. We knew that. I've, I told you guys, I tried to tell you, there is absolutely no chance that he will sign a new deal at the club. Like zero chance. If you tell that player and the entire world, you're out with those words, he's not part of the project. There's no way back. Not even a bridge gap. Nothing. You find a way and that's what they're trying to do. Uh, it's a sad ending because I like Kez a lot. Like he's a he's a likable player, you know. Um, it didn't go his way with the injuries and so on. I hope he goes out there and smashes it. I hope he revives his career because I think he deserves that. Before the injury, he was on that trajectory and it was exciting. And that injury set him back. It did did set him back. It felt like he had no joy in playing, you know. As well, I hope he finds that joy because he's a very fun player to watch you know so i really i'm rooting for him i really am i'm happy if he finds a solution and uh, i'm happy if he can uh, revive his career because i think he deserves that uh but i personally knew that <laughs> it was done the moment those words were uttered it, it was completely done you sign so many players just pushing for Jaden sancho then yeah i mean there's absolutely no way back and hopefully that's well um but that's it basically you know so again Three days left, less than three days left. Now it gets crazy. Deals can 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 get done in an hour, and they can collapse within an hour. You know, it can go. Oh, Kostic is close to that team, and then no, it's off. And at night, it's like actually signing for that new team. You know, and Jadon Sancho could have woken up already and chosen Chelsea, or he chose Juve. Who knows? You know, but if he did, we will talk about that later tonight. If there's some more breaking news. Other than that, that's it for me. Like, subscribe, and I'll speak to you soon. Ciao.